What's up, Fire Crew? Back to the channel. I'm Ryan, and this is Nick. What up? All right, so I'm bringing. Aha! Oh, oh, uh, kazoon tight. <laughs> I didn't sneeze. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's the band. Aha! Oh, like aha! Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah I like that. Yeah. When's the last time you heard someone do that? Me? Not. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do it all the time. Like. Good one, Ryan. I have to give it up to you. Good job. <laughs> they are a Norwegian synth pop band formed in Oslo in 1982. The band was founded by Paul Wachta Savoy. You think so? Sure, yeah. Yep. Let's go with that. Other band members is Magni Froholman and Morton Harkett. <sighs> Man, those names are just... Yeah. So he did his best, you guys. Um, but there you go. There are... The members, according to Ryan's Look, pronunciation. Look, man, they're Norwegian. Those names could be said any kind of boy. Yep. All right. You gave it a shot, though. Yeah. yeah. That's just my thing now. You know? I just kind of <laughs> try the names and see if I can get them right, you know? And then the people just let me know if I'm wrong. Yeah. You know, they, will, they will definitely let you what, know. I wonder what the success rate is. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we've cut out a lot of stuff, so <laughs> we'll never get the true rate. <laughs> So at one point, they didn't know what to call themselves, and they started to think of Norwegian words that people can say in English. And the idea came from Morton, and he spotted a song called Aha. And, and it was in uh, Waktar's songbook. So I think it's a song that uh, it was a, a song that they made called Aha. But it wasn't actually like something that like it was like planned on them releasing. Like he wasn't planning on releasing that song. Yeah. So he was, they were just like, <laughs> they said it was a terrible song, but a great name. <laughs> so they just took the name and it's, I think that's what became their name. Oh, yeah. It, wow. So they didn't release the song, but they just took the name. They thought it was a great name. It was a terrible song though. They yeah. just kept the name as their band name. Uh, so the song we're doing today is, I think we all know this song, Take On Me, you know, legendary song. Yeah. Legendary. Yeah, for sure. When was the first time you heard this song, Nick? <sighs> oh, man. I know when I first heard it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I I couldn't tell you, but I know that I've heard it a bunch of times. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I mean, just it doesn't really matter where you are. <laughs> it don't matter. It, it, hey, you could be, you could feel like you're safe inside your home, <laughs> and it's gonna find you somehow. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna sneak through the cracks. It's gonna door. bust down your walls like the Kool Aid Man. Just so yeah, every everybody knows this, but it's a song that has to be on the channel. Yeah, it has to be. And I think I told you before, Ryan. I don't think I've seen this entire video. Oh yeah, it's true. I remember yeah. that. Yeah, the only so, reason I've seen this song is because I seen it on Family Guy. Whenever they okay. did, the, they kind of did the music. So that video. was your first time ever hearing the song. Yep. Oh. I was like, oh, this song's kind of cool. I like this. You know. Yeah. Um, it was released in 1984, and it's off their album "Hunting High and Low." So let's do this. This is Aha, take on me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when y'all saw and heard this, y'all were like, 
Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> this is the jam. That's what y'all, y'all would say. Uh, this is that. This is that. This is timeless. Yeah. Literally. Absolutely timeless. I think it's, this music video is ahead of its time. Oh, my gosh. Dude, like years. I mean, talking. Insane. Yeah, that, that, this music video is insane. Yeah, like, I, can't, I love it. I can't tell you how many videos I remember like watching as a child that had these sort of mm-hmm. effects. Yeah, exactly. So I'm not sure. I'm not saying like they're the ones that invented it or anything, but I'm saying music video wise. Yeah, you don't expect something like this. It had to be. There's yeah. so many, like, there's so many, like, you know, you need so much, like, editing and computerization to do this stuff. It's not It's not easy. Back like, then, this is like. <laughs> yeah, literally. Literally. I would have been blown away. Yeah. It just makes you want to get a coloring book, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, if, uh, see if somebody pulls me in. Yeah. Hey, yeah. no, that, hey, when you're coloring, though, that can get kind of, like, that. that seriously does help people out. Like it's, I think I remember reading that um, it was like a top 10 bestseller on Amazon. Like it has been a bunch of times for, you know, each year. Um, and it's therapeutic. You know, there's just something about being able to choose what colors you want and oh, yeah. to get the perfect shading mm-hmm. and everything, you know, not to go outside the lines. I can, it's very I, never, satisfying. I never really thought about it, but I, I can, yeah, I can definitely see that. I used to color all the time. I might, I get, I might get back into that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, AHA. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, I don't know why I just thought of that, but I, I need a coloring book. Yeah, and this dude's just killing these vocals. Yeah. <laughs> killing the vocals, man. He, he said, he said I, see him. Uh, I love that. He just, <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, literally. <laughs> kind of reminds me of like, uh, like almost like a play on Buddy Holly. Oh. Or something like that. Okay, but I can't you, help but. But love you're not gonna. Game. You're not gonna forget that beat. No, everybody knows that. Yeah, literally. You That's might not even know the song, but you, you know that. Yeah, that beat is implanted in your brain as soon as you hear. One it. of the best. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Daffy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I thought about it, and I'm like, no, I no, you're good. You're good. Yeah. We're good over here. <laughs> Your mic was sweating. <laughs> I was gonna say that's one of the best synth lines ever. Yeah, I mean, come on, everybody knows that. Yep, that but, that in Africa, by Toto. Yeah, that's up there. That's up there. That's yeah. definitely up there. The halftime. To this day, yeah. I don't know how he hit that. <laughs> yeah, that, that's how high. does he hit that? That's high, man. Oh my goodness! I remember watching, uh, uh, you know, back to VH1 and stuff like that when they would talk about this song, mm-hmm. and they would show like live versions of the track. Just to, I, I don't know why, but they would always just show the band playing the song live mm-hmm. as well. And when this guy would scream this note. He'd have that, you know, that piece in his ear. Mm-hmm. And every time he hit it, he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> you could tell like he just wanted to hit that perfect yeah. every time he performed it. Mm-hmm. So I think that's pretty cool. But yeah. God, what a note. Mm-hmm. I mean, that that thing just shoots to the moon. <laughs> it's spectacular. Literally. Literally. It's. Yeah. It kind of like fades out perfectly, too. Yeah. But that but that halftime, though. Yeah. That halftime was so <laughs> nice.
this animation is it's crazy. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> it's fantastic, dude. It is fantastic. Dude, how many pages did they go through? <laughs> Y'all just wasted like ten trees. Yeah. Well, you didn't waste it. Just, you know. Look, it was worth it, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. I love you trees, but we had to get this video made. It just had to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Man, just the, the the pace of it. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. I love this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fire. That reminds me of like, uh, I don't even know, just like a bunch of like bugs running around or something. Yeah. Like, you know, just, just something just came out of the cage mm -hmm. right there. But I love how they, that kind of disappeared, but it was always in the back. But mm. it was very faint. There was like such huge, uh, a huge echo. Mm -hmm. Off of it, and then it came back right at the end. And the cops came. Why, why are the cops coming in for? It's part of the comic book. Oh, yeah, they're in the right comic here. book. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just, I just trying to figure out what they did wrong. I mean, I, I don't know. Yeah, this is mm -hmm. <laughs> gotta read the comic. I don't know. <laughs> and was he really hitting the keyboard like that though? I think I so. Mean, I, really, I think he really was doing that. Man, oh man. <laughs> That was great yeah. right You know, you, you can't get enough. Yeah, yeah. You can never get enough. <laughs> just a classic song. Yeah. I mean, I... That's been, all that's been playlist. Yeah. I mean, that's... that's, that's all it. timer. Yeah. That, it's too good. Even the video. I mean, the video just makes it so much better. It, I was getting wrapped up in it. <clears throat> yeah, literally. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm listening to a song. I forgot. <laughs> well, that's what I call good music videos. Yeah. You don't get that no more, man. You just don't. No. Clever. And it's, you know, it's... It's very clean. That was a, that's for a video. It's very clean. You know, it's just like, you just don't expect that with, uh, you know, these like, you know, older videos, you know, I think that's one of the more well put together videos that we've actually watched yes, uh, yeah. in a while, actually. Definitely one of the best music videos of all time. There's no yeah. argument that song wise. I don't know if it's one of the best of all time, but for this genre, yeah, I mean, you, it's pretty hard to say. It's definitely not. one of the best one hit <laughs> wonders for sure. Yeah, for this genre, it's pretty hard to say that it's not one of the greatest of all time. It's just, it's it's too wide of an appeal. And I love how that high note again on the very last one, it took like an extra second or two mm -hmm. to get to it. And I thought I thought that was a clever choice. You kind of know, have an idea of what like what the message in the song is, like what they're trying to say here. I think it's like enjoy the moment while you have it with with somebody. I mean, because you, and, I mean, the, I think the um, music video kind of tells that, you know, it's like they were having a moment and then something can go wrong at any moment where they can get split apart, you know. And then if you notice at the end, when she opened it up, he was dead. He was dead yeah. in the comic. Right, right. Know? But I don't know how he came out of the comic. I was kind of confused on that, to be honest with you. Like he just popped up, popped up there. Like it's like a fantasy thing, like a, 
you know, oh, my fight. dream guy. Well, it wasn't easy. My dream guy <laughs> came back. Yeah, he did. But yeah, I think that's I, to me. That's what I think. It's like uh, enjoy your moment while you while you have it. Maybe is he kind of saying like, look, this doesn't have to be a committal type of thing. Like, can't we just enjoy each other's company? Yeah, it could be. Yeah, you know, even if it is for a short period of time, like yeah. let's just not even think about it. Mm-hmm. So I oh, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. So I, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> That's just kind of how it is. Look, you guys can let us know if you really want us to know. I just yeah. know the song is fantastic. Well, it's almost like they're challenging each other to like t- to be committed to being non-committal. If that makes any sense, it's it's like you know we we both know we want to do this, so mm-hmm. you know who wants to leap in first type of thing. So I think that's I think that's actually a unique take. I you know I'm not sure of a lot of popular songs that have that uh, type of perspective. So I think I think the lyrics are actually even though like there's not a lot of them. Yeah, there's not actually. Yeah, there's really not. But like what they what they mean that makes it so much bigger in my opinion. Mm-hmm. When when you think of the '80s, you you think of this song like it's it's one of the the tops of the list in that regard. When you think of synth pop. Yeah. Same thing, man. Mm-hmm. So you know this song has just uh, I, it might it, it'll probably never go away. <laughs> no, I won't. This song is Liam Neeson. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> like you can't you can't escape it. I'll you'll find you. you'll never be able to escape this song, and for good reason. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's enjoyable. It mm-hmm. makes you love music. So good on them. That's it, guys. Don't forget to drop a like, and as always, please tell us your views. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. Peace, Peace out. out.